Oh, Daddy! What are you asking? It's actually a decay's birthday. Have you forgotten? I would not forget my son's birthday because I'm his father. The question is, what is all this and what is going on here? It's just a little doings. Yes, we are just trying to keep the vibes alive. Little doings. Keep the vibes alive. I want you to celebrate in the right way. Ejike Mowa. How old are you today? It's a rhetorical question requiring no answer. You are 31 years old today. And in 31 years of your life, what have you achieved on your own? Aside a certificate from the university which I sponsored, what have you achieved on your own? Every 17th day of May, you buy drinks and food lavish my money and that's what you do every 365 days of a year 8769 hours the question is what have you achieved on your own it should be a day for super reflections of your life your sisters gang up with you to celebrate your birthday if there's anybody to celebrate it should be the woman who carried you for nine months in her belly can i ask you again what are you celebrating? My dear son, every day and every year should be a reminder that you get closer to your grave. Stop celebrating foolishness. Get serious. So Come on, man, it's nothing. Let's continue with celebration. No, 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 okay? No, no. It's nothing. It's okay. Everybody sit, please. Sit. All right? Everybody sit. Have your drinks. Sorry. Music, music. Let the music continue. Just treated me as if I'm a second class citizen in my own father's house. So listen. You must be a place sitter in anything you do. Do not borrow the wrong things of life. What I said to you downstairs was not just for you, but for everyone down there. Alright. Your message is well understood. Now I need money so that I won't make such a mistake again. I need to invest in my music life. I don't have a, any problem giving you money, but you have to give me a proposal of what you want to use the money for. Pop, are you serious? I have to write a proposal before I can get money from my own dad. It doesn't make sense now. Okay, you should have well asked me to go get a clutter or get someone to shut me before you can give me money. Dad, this is wrong. Educate more. If. The money you are asking for is for your music career, which I've pumped a lot of millions in, and you have. It's gone down the drain. Then I will 
Failure. I don't have money for your music career. Pop, you don't believe in my vibes? You don't believe in my dream? Why can't you pump in money in my music career? You said you're pumping money. You keep pumping money till it starts paying off. I will be bigger than all these people. Music needs money. You need to sink in money before everything will work out fine. All you do is criticize me. You, you, you discourage my dream. You are killing my vibes, Pop. Criticism remains the propelling force. It is the first thing to tell you about who you are. I don't see the talent in you, in music. If I see that, I'll bring you more money. So, if you want money from me, put it in a proposal. But if it's music... You don't believe in my music career, Pop. Should I sing for you? I got the vibes. I have r and I have Afrobeat. I have, I have, listen, I got songs. I got vibes. I got raps. I can sing. I can rap. I can dance. Why wouldn't you believe in my career, Pop? We're going to sound like a boy or one hour boyfriend in Just go. I have a phone call to make. No problem. No problem, Pop. Make your phone call. But at the same time, think about me. This is unfair. My dad has money and I don't have access to it. No problem. Just know that you're killing my vibes. Okay. You're my Pop and there is money, so what's the big? His records, very fraudulent human being. The more he embezzled in the last place, I have not forgotten. Who can bank on such a person, bro? All right, I will give you a heads up about how we are moving on. Thank you, bro. Yes, thank you. Hello, ladies. Hi, Daddy. What's up? Daddy, we are fine. It's just that we are bothered. We came to ask you why you keep treating AJK special and ignore things about us as if we are not your children. Yes, Daddy. You devote so much time ensuring that AJK succeeds in whatever he does. While us, who will bring anything to you, you just tell us to go on without even looking into it. It looks as if you're neglecting us. Like, we don't matter to you. Why is it like that, Daddy? Oh, my pretties. Is that the way you feel? Yes, Daddy. Oh, no. Please, I'm sorry. I love you both and I adore you. Yeah, you know, your brother is a direct opposite of what you two have become. He lacks decorum, makes so much noise. Oh, come on, wait, wait. Is that what this meeting is about? Yes, Daddy. Oh, come on, please. Huh? Detach yourself from that. Don't think that way. AJK Mua is your only brother. I jumped to them up for him. He's the one to take over. That's why I jumped can desire you know, in case anything happens to me. I didn't say anything is going to happen, no. But he's the man of the house. Huh? After me. Una brown nagan, no. You expect it to be in your husband's houses. Eh? That's why I want him to behave like a normal human being. But he would rather his own ideas are wacko. So please, if, I hope I've answered your question. Yes, yes Daddy. Please, let, let this old man get some rest. Shall we? Alright, Daddy. Dinner will be ready by seven. Pop of life. Have a big dream. Okay? I need 48 million naira to start my own record. Trust me, this is it. 
Like this is it. Did you hear yourself? You need 48 million naira to start your own recording level. Yes, sir. All the ones you recorded, your own music, was any of them a success? You have, you, you don't, I don't know whether you think like a small child. That you cannot even buff yourself. You want to buff another person. 48 million naira for a recording level to record who? Every time you talk about Don Jazzy, Don Jazzy, Don Jazzy, you are not quick to mention that Don Jazzy didn't ask his father for money. Mm. You don't judge this man as friend. Are you there? Uh -uh. Dad, besides, you have this money. You are my dad. You are rich. So why are you finding it difficult to release money for your son to push his car? I did not say I don't have the money. I have it. But I am not giving it to you. Go out, make your own money, and inject it to any kind of music you like. Whether it will be or a or whatever you call it. Go ahead. My father is rich. Why I don't have access to money is what I can't explain. What's all this now? Why are you doing stingy and stubborn? You can't support my career. Listen, if you don't give me this money, they will, in fact, there will be no business in this house again. I see you love violence. Moa? Yes, sir. The stingy You're and stingy. stubborn. You are stingy and stubborn, sir. My dad is rich. Yeah, I don't have access to money. You want us to find your debts? Ah. Uh -uh. Plan my debt. You go change here. So as you came over, you want to not kill me to get the money. Okay. My colleague will be there. He's not answering. Daddy, what did you discuss with him this afternoon? Huh? I told him the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. But you know your brother, you're very stubborn. You tell him A, he does B. Leave music, it is not your talent. Mbao. Join us in business. Uh -oh. He's not succeeding there. Look at both of you. Doing well in business. And I'm proud of you. But your brother, he wants to do music and become popular. Nguano, oh, say it, yeah. Daddy, honestly, I think he should just encourage his passion for music. Actual music is not that bad. Maybe, just maybe, he will succeed. Sarah, why are you talking as if you don't know that daddy has spent a lot of money on him and this music thing? Yet he's not paying off. I think it's high time he do something else. If you turn it down, it do something else, please. The money I have invested on your brother in this music business is enough to set up 100 EOG men and women to lucrative business. But your brother, leave music is not your talent. Uh -oh. Join us in business. For what? Keep calling him. When you get him, tell him to come back home. Daddy, honestly, something tells me that AGK is going to make it as a big musician. Actually, nothing good comes easy. Consistence and perseverance, that's the secret to success. And from what I see in AGK, he is determined to succeed. <clears throat> Preacher Sarah, thank you, we have heard you. But on this one, I stand with Dad. 
He should do something else with his life. Whoever saw that vision for you is not only fake. He has a combination of Eba and Agwisi, typhoid and malaria. Daddy. <laughs> hmm. oh, let me just keep calling him. The people who sing only when they're in the bathroom. Think my baby want to do that. I don't know. I don't know, but I know Michael is not gonna die in vain. I will avenge whoever did this to him. That guy was a fine young man, very humble and hard working. Why waste his life? Why? Sarah, that assassin wasn't after Michael, but after Dad. Yes, Michael took a bullet that was meant to kill Dad. And we all know the person who has enough grudge and stands to benefit from Dad's demise. Chizzy, what are you talking about? Are you trying to say that AGK tries to kill Dad? Is that what you are implying? 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 I am not implying. Not when the evidence is glaring at us in the face. Um, stop. You must have some respect for your only brother, Ejike. Daddy? Daddy, you know I am saying the truth. Ejike tried to kill you. I... What did I just say? What did I just say? I am saying that he talks of assassin, you sent him to kill Daddy. They failed. I... Ah! Okay. You think you're joking here? Ejike. Even if we have our differences, it has not gotten to the extent of planning to take that life. Are you sick? Tell that to whoever that will be. Baba, will you shut up if I load you again? Stop it. This is your last warning. Black idiot. Dad, I came the moment I heard what happened. I had to rush down here. Who could be behind this? You guys should not worry. I'll be fine. I will attend to this on my own. Your enemies will never see you. They will never succeed. I think we are not alone together. Are you the one of them? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Are you not giving my answer? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'll, I'll, I'll seize your wig. I will seize your wig. I was, 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 I
Tried to shoot him down, but his driver took the bullet for him. That's good. Now he will know why I am called Oshimiliatata. The ocean that never run dry. You may go. Yes, boss. No one. And you need to stop prying into my affair. But I overheard you two discussing. Get out of my sight now. I said get out! Where have you been? We've been calling you all throughout the night. You didn't pick and you didn't even return it. Will you shut up? I know where he was. He was fine. I'm running late for an appointment. Dad, please, 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 before you move, I'm begging you. I need 48 million naira to complete my studio setup. I don't have 48 million naira for music, but I have 150 million naira for a lucrative business. I can move it up to 500 million naira for you to give me a proposal for a business. Music, Babonia. Daddy, this is your pen now. Must you choose my career for me? We all know that you are rich and I'm suffering. It doesn't make sense. You are the one embarrassing me before my friends are calling me lazy, lazy, lazy. Now I've decided to do something with my life. Support me now. What is 48 million naira to compare to how wealthy you are? Uh, Brother GK, stop saying that. You and I know that Daddy has spent a lot of money on your music career, both for video and for promotion. No, nothing was realized, not even a dime was realized from it. Yet you're here, back with another format, just to extort money from Daddy. Please, do something else. This music thing is not for you. So, I, are you dad's manager or his speaker? Eh, hey, I'm his everything. One more word from that hole on your face, eh? I will remind you that you are a woman. Mind your business, I'm talking hey, to my you father. You care more she speaks the truth. I do not have money because you're a colossal failure when it comes to music. Give me a business proposal. Come to the company. Work. Get money and fund your lifestyle. Rap music. No bro, no bro talent, okay? Nah, dad, this is wrong, now. Nah. I don't choose business for your son, now. Nah. I just want to do no, no. No what they're using for me. Was everybody being that confident? My destiny is not in sitting down now. What's all this now? Well, you can just say you didn't get anything. Ah, Jesus! 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 Have you come to apologize for your stupidity? Apologize, you said? By the gods. Let them move you out of this madness. Then I will teach you that the boiling pot of water is the end of trickery for the tortoise. And for everything bad and good, if you ever make any attempts on my family again, Jido of four. I will delete you, delete your family, your children in school. Boss, will you just let him go? It's all about you. Boss, do us order. Let's mend this man.
let me call you back. Let me call you back. Yeah. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah. Um, I must commend how you went about your presentation in there. That was brilliant. Oh. Thank you. You were not bad, so you literally threw me off balance, honestly. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. It came like bomb. But you were able to defend it. Yeah, I really need to. And I'm so sorry for the way I spoke to you in there. I'm truly sorry. Well, you don't have to be. I should be sorry for speaking out of town. Mm. I know you were angry because I came 18 minutes late. I'm so sorry for coming. Well, it. since you're sorry, how about I see you again? Ah, um, oh, sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Why not? So here is my my card. Oh. Uh, just give me a call. All right. I'll see you some other time. Fine. Okay. Therefore, I don't know what you are doing in my office and what you want from me. You don't have to stop playing ignorance because you know very well why I'm here. I am going straight to the point. I will give you 80 million naira for you to step down from the ambition of becoming the next national president of Kadoku. <laughs> Well, the way you have spoken just now shows me you're not a businessman. Uh, but I'll forgive you. Time is of the essence, so I have no, got no time to waste. My answer is capital no. I don't need your money, but you will never become president of the agrofeed. Oh, come on, Chief Donald. That's very immature of you to use that singular incident against me. Oh. I hit you too hard, but the fact is that your history of embezzlement of funds is key that you should not even aspire to be president. You should not even make any try. You're being tolerated right now because you're the founding father of the organization. Nobody wants you as president. So do yourself the simple honor and privilege of just withdrawing and minding your business. Don't you think you're making a mistake working against me? Donald is my name. I'm human. But I make no mistakes about you. I see. Remember this. The sun will never shine when the sky is cloudy. There's nowhere in the world has all there has been sunshine and rain at the same time. So I will advise you, you're not in interest. Do not mess up your image any further by running for the presidency. You will never be president. I don't know, it's an unknown number. Okay. <sighs> Hello, this is Miss Sarah Donald speaking. Yeah, um, this is Moses. Oh, Moses. How are you? Well, um, I'm fine, thank you. Very well. Hope you had a good day. Well, I um, had an amazing day especially after meeting such an intelligent and a beautiful woman like you. Look, I must commend you for what you did at the presentation today. That was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, you did well. Like, all of you did well. Do you know, at a point, I was <laughs> thinking I am going to lose it to you. Of course, you would definitely lose to me. You know my company is best suited for this job. Mm-mm. Don't be too sure. 
Of course, I've heard a lot about you in terms of contract pursue. But don't let that boost your ego because I am fully prepared. And you see this one? I am going to win this project for my company. You know what? Um, I can actually cut you a slack. There is actually room for a merge, but only on one condition. Hmm. Africa man, bribery. So tell me, what's the price? Well, a chance to see your beautiful face again before the presentation day. Is someone asking me for a date? Um, not really. Maybe just lunch and, you know, we could just go somewhere. You pick the place, time, and I'll, I'll be there. Okay. Um, rose grilled and kitchen is okay. All right. Time, please. 1 p.m. 1 p.m. All right. I'll be there. All right. Bye. Yes! 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 Damn! Whoo! Uh, it was just a guy I met at the presentation, yeah. So it's nothing serious. Maybe he, he was plotted to distract me from the competition. But you see, I am never going to give in for it. Because this one, I am going to win it for our company. <laughs> the guy you met at the presentation. Yes, yeah, your mask is bleeding out already. Ah. Anyway, don't get me wrong. I want that thing. You know, even a man in the high, the high can you have a man like you can feel all the It's nothing serious, sis. It's nothing serious. <laughs> <laughs> you think I have to lie? I thought you were going to give me very difficult doubts. Now, I found a man, you are in love, you are dating. Now, here mm -hmm. she is telling me it's nothing serious. Okay. Why do I keep thinking about the stranger I just met? And whenever I think about her, I, I get butterflies in my stomach. Am I falling in love with her? Love is a beautiful thing. And it's all to happen to a beautiful soul like you. Mom, have you been eavesdropping on my conversation? No. Do I have any reason to do such? No, not exactly. Em, um, son, have you heard or seen your father today? Well, not really, but I was waiting for him to return so I could tell him how my presentation went. But you seem worried. Is there any problem I don't know of? Yeah, your father has been acting strange. Like someone who is on an age. After he had a terrible dream last night, so I don't know what his problem is. You mean paranoid? Yeah. But why? My son. Yes, ma'am. You are his favorite and only son. You need to find out why he's looking jumpy these days, please. Well, mom, um, you don't need to worry yourself. Uh, I don't know why he's worried, but I promise I will talk to him. Okay. All right? Okay. Just take a chill. I will. Hope you're good. Come here. Thank you. Okay. So what are we having for dinner? Mm, let's see for fried rice or Still never called me till now. Let me try and reach out to him and know what the problem is. Who is this? Can I speak to Moses? Sorry, my dear. I'm his mother. 
He was hospitalized for contacting flu. Hospitalized? Yes. We are at Franklin's hospital. Are you coming? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm in the office right now. I will come as soon as I'm done from the work. Okay. No problem. All right. Do you need anything so I can get his work coming? No, we are okay. Thank you. I'm getting better. Look, Sarah, I'm sorry for not keeping up to the date. <laughs> it's fine. The most important thing is that you get back to your feet. All right. Thank you very much. Thank come you. close. Come <laughs> so, how was your day today at work? Fine. <laughs> thank you for coming. Oh, you don't have to thank me. If I don't come here, who will? <laughs> My brother, excuse me. Okay. Hello, Ejike. Where are you so I can come get you immediately? Okay, okay, I'll be there. It's fine. Okay, it's my brother. I need to go bail him. Okay, you can go bail him out. <sighs> okay, I I will be on my way now. All right, all right. Please take care of yourself. And you too. I remember you owe me a bit. <laughs> I promise I will make it happen. All right. Come yeah. Okay. Bye. I'll be safe. Okay, I will. All right. My dad is rich. I don't understand what has happened. How could you be this weekend to your own? Weekend? What have I done? Dad, this is unfair. You embarrassed me in public today. I have not seen you today, so how could I embarrass you? You froze my account without telling me. I bought something and I wanted to pay. All of a sudden, there was no money in my account. And my dad is rich. How do we explain this? Oh, poor boy. I didn't freeze your account for your information. I only stopped crediting your account. Of course, you don't have to continue to withdraw when you are not earning. It's not possible. When my father is rich, Dad. you have to walk towards we walk. Dad, but you know he shouldn't have done a thing like that. Do you know he almost got mobbed today? All because he went to the fuel station to buy fuel. And when it's time to pay, he discovered that he had no money. That is because he's not productive. If he was productive, he should have been able to know that he was withdrawing and the credit alert comes to his phone. He would have known there's no money there. Paul, just know that you've ended my vibes. And for that reason, I will shock you. You've already shocked me. Since you started calling me Paul, you already shocked me with bad news. You, you only know how to withdraw, but you don't know how to credit into account. And that's what it is. Please, at least inform me whether you want to go out. I should inform me. Okay, make my money. I think you are the one encouraging this evil in this house. You will go with him. When you marry, let's see, let's see how your husband is your account every day when you're not productive. saying is that I cannot stay a wife 
and watch that little boy ruin my career. It can never happen. I know what I have endured over the years to rule the conglomerate. Only for Chief Donald to turn around and fight against me. And you expect me to keep quiet? No. The moment Chief Donald started to convert what's mine, that was the day he drew the papa line of demarcation. The battle line is on. <laughs> Chief, it has better be resolved though. Because Nga what Chief Donald will talk. I'll naked him in public. Yes. I say you lost the project because you were not able to do your presentation. But that's fine. Having you here is more important to me than any project. Well, you can say that again, Dad. But Dad, I'm afraid we might not be having you here for long due to the recent talks you engage in. Son, you may not understand, but I want you to know this. Something will happen to your father. Well, Dad, I'm not saying anything is going to happen to you, but look, Dad, you have made so much money. Like, so much money that if you decide to stop working for the next 50 years, you will not be poor. Why not sit back and enjoy the dividends of your labor rather than, you know, engaging in this tussle that is making you threaten the life of another man? Please, Dad, think about it. It's okay, son. Like I said, you won't understand. Okay? Nothing will happen to me. Your father is the only one who stays on top of any position. Look, Dad, I understand. I'm not saying anything is going to happen to you. But even if you're not going to stop it for anything, why not stop it for me, your son? Please, Dad, just do this for me. Just relax, son. Okay? I don't go back on my words. And let me reassure you, nothing will happen to me. It's my okay, fight. Dad. It's, it's okay. my right. And I must have it. It's okay, Dad. At least I said something. At least. I wish you could just listen to me. Educa hey, Mowa. Where are you going to with my car? Pop. It gave beat to enter my head, so I'm popping to the studio to go record. Ah, uh, and you want to use my car? Yes, sir. Do you know how much one liter of fuel costs? No, sir. I don't understand. You don't understand because you lack financial understanding. Yeah. Huh? But my dad is rich. You can use a taxi. Or trek to the studio. Pop, listen. Before I trek down to that studio, the music here will evaporate. Uh, let it evaporate. Listen, in I add too much weight, go and lose some weight. It will help you to burn out some cholesterol. But, 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 my, my dad is rich now. My dad is rich. The dad is rich. Go on, can you get better? Listen. The studio is not far from here. It's about uh, six point something kilometers. It's uh, estimatedly one hour, 15 minutes, you go there. Trek is good for you. Dad, you've worked for us now. I can't be suffering again now. I'm losing the vibes. I'm losing, losing the vibes. vibes. Losing the vibes. Okay, theater. They were local. If I trek down, I will lose the vibes, Pop. I'm losing the vibes. Okay, Chiata, don't, don't worry. We're all good, Chiata. Okay, Chiata. The vibes rise. will evaporate. I will make it on my oh, own. I got me bute con bute. Eko na pananya. I will rise. I will make this money. I will come back and show you. Ebute go bike. I will rise. I will make 
make it on my own. I got me buteko. I will shock you. I will tell you that dreams come through with or without you. Really? Yes. Dreams only come through when you don't oversleep. In our book cafe, you have overslept. Look at you. Two months you run back here. Me. You're a messy man. Me. I'd rather die than come back to this house. Let me bet you. Bet, I will be richer than you. I, I, I will be richer than you. I will tell you that this uh, wealth or whatever is dwarf money. Okay. Nonsense. Okay. I will make it in life and I'll come back here and show you. My story will not be like that of the prodigal son. It will be the other way around. You will be the one looking for me. Go on. Yes. That's not the prodigal son. We will see. Daddy, Daddy, please, can you stop already? You don't have to send him out of this house without giving him any money to hang on. Says who? When I left here, he heard the community. I left with nothing. I could go mansions here and there. Let him go and work hard. He's a very lazy son. Two months, I'm losing my vibes. I'm, I'm losing my vibes. 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 Uh, 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 Sarah, why are you so concerned about an adult that has made his decision? Since he wants to go and don't want to listen to daddy's advice, he should go wherever he wants to go. I know you. And I know your fantasies about becoming a reality. We have good news for you. You can never be a man to replace him. Please. Ejike! Please. Ejike! Ejike, stop! How can my father be rich and I'll be suffering? I, I will shock you. Ejike! Ejike, stop! Ejike, stop already! Stop it! Stop! Let him go! Una yo, Sunia! Oka na yo! Yo, yo, yo! Mbano! Two months, obu no chetra here. If you know the poor man, no up here. Tadi, are you sure he didn't forget his medication? I'm losing my vibes, I'm losing my vibes. Okay, I lost a video. You don't know the normal vibe, vibe, vibe. Don't worry, take care for two months. Vibe will get you at Listen, sis, if you are trying to convince me to stay back here, don't waste your time because it won't work. Here is killing my vibes. That is killing my dreams. So I'm leaving and that's it. Oh, okay, okay, wait. Even if you don't want to stay, let me at least give you something. Let me send you some money so you can. For real? Yes. Put up for my open. I I ch check. Oh, seven hundred k. Yes. My vibes is back. My vibes is back. Educate. You know I don't want you to go. Please take the money and build yourself. Like I always tell you, you have all it takes to make your life better. But tell dad to eat his house. Let him eat his house. I will make it without him. I you can actually come back, right? I will shock him. He, he will okay. see me on TV. I will rise. I will make this morning. You will see me in private jets. Private jets lifestyle. I'm losing my fights. I'm losing my fights. I'm losing my vibes. This money is not enough. Daddy, what is the matter? You have been like this since OGK left his house. Daddy, tell me the truth. Are you regretting of letting him go? Why do you hate your brother so much? <laughs> Daddy, you can't speak. You made me to hate him. Daddy, you have three children. But all you think of is AGK and what she wants him to do. Daddy, it's not fair. We are here, but we are like invisible to you because AGK this, AGK that. We have same passion for the things we want. You are dragging him to do. Believe in us the way you believe in him and you will see that we'll do excellence. Why worry myself when both of you are living the life that I want you to live? But daddy, you don't show it. You joined me in business. And you're doing well. So why would I worry about you? Daddy. I'm proud of you. Daddy, why? You are just this typical African man who their male children are utmost important to them. The female ones are nothing. Daddy, I beg you to believe in me. Trust me the way you trust 
AGK, push me the way you push him and I promise to build the world you deserve. The world you want him to build. Must see raw talent. Look at the way this guy is freestyling on Facebook. Bring him now. Call him. Call him. Make him come. Omo, you need to make this guy your first record signing. I beg, just call him first. I will do just that. DM yeah, him. Call him. If possible. The guy is too good. good. Call him. No, 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 no. Let me look for him. Call him. Call him. Call him. No package him. Call him. Oh boy. Adam, stop it. Stop it. Dad, I understand you are furious, but you should also know that in business there is no permanent friend or permanent enemy, only permanent interest. That is beneficial. As much as I want to be in business with Glum Oil, gives that little boy no reason to insult me. Does he know who I am? What I'm worth? What I'm capable of doing? Does he? I'm asking you. Oh, now listen, call off that deal. Call it off. I'm not interested Good in night. it. Daddy, see, you don't need to meet him anymore. I will go on your behalf and seal this deal. Something in me tells me that this deal is ours and it will benefit us a lot at the end. You want me to continue this deal after what you saw happen today? Daddy, please, just allow me to seal this deal. I promise I will come out with the flying colors. I will bring you good news. Do whatever you want. Are you sure, Daddy? Come on, are you sure? Okay, I think you're sure. Thank you, thank you. All right, Daddy, I'll get back to you. Yes, Master. You have an impeccable reputation. You mean you don't have said all that? And you're still willing to pitch your tent with him? Forgetting how much he embezzled as public relations officer of an organization? How much will he now embezzle when he becomes the president of that organization? You forget so easily? No, listen, Chief. I think there's a misconstruction of words from you. Jidofo never served selflessly. He served selfishly. This is him. Come on, sir. Give me a break. If a man could be that selfish to embezzle such funds at that level, you're not making president. What do you think he's going to? He also he's only thinking about what he's going to gain, not what he's going to put into the organization. That's who he is. Not when somebody like you, with an impeccable reputation, withdraws your card from him. He will fall like a pack of cards. I plead with you, don't do this to our organization. Do not encourage him further. He is a fraud. I keep on saying that, sir. Please, Chief Maxwell, I beg you, let this not happen. History will not forgive us if we make Jidofo President of Agrofeed. Are you ready? 
One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break it up, break it up, small, break it up, small. Like, you have to repeat that, stretch it. International. You get? Take it up. All right, let's go. Like I told you I would. I did it. I did it. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. Cheesy, what's going on? I heard your voice from my room. Oh, dear sister. We should be celebrating because I won the company in a mega deal that is worth tens of millions. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Give me my crown. Congratulations, daddy. <laughs> I told you, I have what it takes to become a safe person in our company. I'm going to do it. Well, I'm not doubting you as a Thomas, but uh, until I see the money in my account. Come on, Daddy. Don't worry. They promised to make payments tonight. So, you should give me my share. Of course, you know, I don't fail. Okay, Daddy, I trust you. Thank you, my darling. So, you girls are doing very well. Thank Bravo. you, Daddy. Bravo. Thank Bravo. you, Daddy. You don't know the owner of the song? I don't know the artist. 
All I know that is stopping USB board chat. Because of that, it's been streamed on almost every platform. Babe, this song, okay, let me tell you. This song is owned by one of Edgy's artists. Mm -hmm. Please, <laughs> which Edgy? You don't believe it. Listen, 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 listen. <laughs> lie, lie, baby, don't cry for your other. I am going to learn the lyrics. I've learned it already. I am going to learn the lyrics. Give my tunnel. Give my brothers to the why right. I am so happy for AGK. This is determination and focus speaking for him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I am proud of him. He has done well. His patience, consistency <laughs> has paid off. So, <sighs> sister of a musician, top musician. <laughs> You get mm. it? If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. The one that the one I learned. Why why baby don't cry? Um Iyo Jekenemon. Um Chintana. For your endless and selfless sacrifice to this community, I and my cabinet have decided to crown you with the title Okazo Natofe One of your Kingdom. You're welcome. That is another one on top which you already have. Igwe <laughs> and my fathers, Thank you very much. For me, as a person, you know, I'm humble about the things I do. Um, I can operate in this community without a title. Uh, because in this sense, I don't think I deserve it. But if the entire cabinet says I deserve it, who am I to say no? Dalon? Oh, yes, we do. You deserve it and even more. Yes, you single-handedly built three schools for our community. You built markets for our women and even men, not to talk about the numerous uh, medical benefits mm. our people derive from your generosity. You deserve it. Thank you, Wei. Thank you. My elders, I greet you. This man here should be in his garden, eating garden egg with his white eyeglass and helping the poor. Not coming here to add more titles to the ones he already had. It doesn't make sense. Akuchi has an abandoned as you were. Okay. I'm proposing 50 million naira for you, Igwe, and 10, 10 million naira for your elders in council. I love that name, Okazu, and I am the biggest fish. But wait, Chief, is this not your son? Yes, his only son. But the question is, what is he doing? You are a useless elder. I'm here to preach. In a call job. Mind your business. The ugly caterpillar is becoming a beautiful butterfly. Welcome, my son. I am not your son. Yes. I know you are surprised that the earthworm survived without brain or leg. The butterfly thinks itself a bird, being urged by the pigeons to go on. <laughs> Uh, uh, Chief Donut, uh, something is not right here. What we are witnessing here today has not been seen in this community. But um, I urge you to take your son home and resolve whatever issue you have with him. Igwe, there is nothing to resolve.
My vibes is now complete. I told you, Mara Salugolo. Mara Salugolo. My vibes is now complete. You go. Think about my offer. In fact, 100 million naira for you and 20 million for your cabinet. It's all about choice, yeah. Focus one on the big things. Any Kenny or Baba doings. One in our time, you they feel me. 